Well, hello everybody. I'm back once again to help you guys out with a problem. Everybody buys these fans, right? And after a while, they start slowing down, slowing down, and they just freeze. That's because of factory grease in there eventually dries up, and then you're almost metal to metal. So, this one did that. And I know the fix, how to fix them and keep them going. And so, this is an awesome fan. It's a Lasco. It's a wind turbine or wind, wind tunnel, wind tunnel remote. So you got your, you know, your speeds. And then, oh, wait a minute. You got your speeds, one, two, three, low, medium, high. Um, you got this, which equals, it'll pulse. It'll like give you a nice big high blast of air, then it'll slow down, like a natural breeze, they call that. And then your timer to run it from, you know, one to four hours. I leave it on all the time. I don't use a timer. So, since I know these, I cut the back, I cut the back out of this, and I'll lay it down so you can see it better. So I cut the back out, and I drilled a hole in it, and here's the back, because I don't really give a crap. So this is the back, boing, and... You drill down in until you hit the motor bearing, which is right there. And you can see it's the motor bearing. When I turn this blade with my screw, well, you see it turning? So what you do is you put your spray oil, grease, whatever you got in there, which I happen to have the dry graphite. So you can actually take dry graphite and spray it down in there. Let it fill the hole up. So now, I tried to turn it on and um, it started to move, but not quite all the way. So I'm like, okay, let's go to the front bearing. Started to get to the front bearing. You can take this apart if you want. I had nothing to lose. That's why I'm like, screw it, I'm just going to cut it up. So, this is the back one, and this is the front I cut out with my shears. So, I just took these, I just went clip, 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 big deal. Nothing's really going to get in or hurt anybody. So, here is the shaft. And if you can look down inside there, there's the bearing right there. The bearing is right there. So if you drill a hole right down next to... Let me back this thing out. I'm getting way too close here. Back right out and cut the light. All right. Right next to the shaft, you can spray, which I already have, graphite or a few drops of oil. Or they've got that oil in it and it's got a straw that pulls out. I've got that in the house. It's, uh, I don't know, like a three-in-one oil or whatever. But you can pull the rubber hose out of it and get some drips in there. So when I brought this thing out to the garage, I turned it on. Nothing. Now, after doing what I did, nothing. No. <laughs> where am I? Where, where am I at here? Oh, there we go. There it is. And that wind, that's a nice wind. So, I fixed a fan that I was going to throw away. You know, for free. So, it's sprayed with dry graphite in there for a lubricant. You can use whatever you want. You can get some like 1030 or whatever and just you know, get some in there somehow. And that's it. See, she spins nice and free, slows down nice. So now, if this ever happens again, 
I can just come and just put a few more drops of oil in it and just keep right on going. It's exactly what I'm doing with that big metal frame fan I have in the house that moves air around. Is It's the same thing I did with that one. I drilled it out. And, uh, yeah. Now, like this one here. See, now like with this motor. Uh, turn the light on here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Turn the light on. Okay. So on this one, what I would do is I would drill a hole in the center of this motor. And drip some oil in it. You know, to get to the bearings. So... There's your tip on how to save your fan. It's wicked easy. Just drill a couple holes and you're done. You know, just drill right next to the shaft. The oil will drop down onto that bearing and lubricate it. And like I said, you saw it in the back here. You saw in the back, I made a hole in there and I just dropped the oil in. Boom, got a fan going again. So don't throw them out. If your fan is is trying to turn don't throw it out you know and if it and if you can stick something in the fan like your fingers um and if you can push it like like this and it turns but when you hit power on it then it doesn't turn that means your fans toast but if your fan blade is trying to move like little slow like this or you can see it trying to move then unplug it and do what I did. Drill it out because that way it shows you the fan is still working. It's just set up from no grease. So, well, hopefully I saved somebody a few bucks today. And this is going back in the house with me. After I clean up this, well, I don't really have to clean that up because it's dry graphite. So, all right, everybody. Every little tip helps. So maybe I could save somebody some money because I just saved myself some money now. Because you remember those window box fans you used to buy them for 10 bucks? What are they now? $25 for those metal box fans? You know, the little handle on the top? It's ridiculous. All right. Have a good one. Keep cool.